Hello everybody, welcome back to Gran Turismo 3. Alright you guys, we need a rear wheel drive car. And I know just where to look. Right here. The Dodge Viper GTS. It's Viper time, you guys. Huh. OZ. Sure. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. <laughs> to me, at least. Huh. Let me, let me, let me upgrade you, baby. Mmm, delicious. More delicious things in here, that's for sure. A 479 horsepower. Now, we'll be using this car in the American Championship as well. well let's go to stage two, you guys. Oh. And this is officially the fastest car. Well, fastest production car in our garage. <laughs> because we have a Formula One car. I'll bust out the Formula One car for uh, MR, you guys. For the first time. Take it out for a spin. Yeah, this car needs to be pretty upgraded. Doing. And we definitely are going to get some medium slickies. Remember, you guys, I can always make uh, <coughs> off camera cashola. The best type of cash, you guys, off camera cashola. <laughs> All right, here we go, you guys. The FR Challenge. Same, uh, same as the last event, except this is for rear-wheel drive cars only, instead of front-wheel cars, baby. Ooh, ooh, baby. Get to tune this Viper up pretty good because it's pretty heavily upgraded. It's really only missing a couple of things. Bow, bow, ba, 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 ba. This car's gonna be fast as hell. Alright, so we got a Nissan Silvia, Mazda RX-7, Honda S2000, Nissan 300ZX, and a Supra. Oh, Should have bought uh, suspension with all this horsepower, you guys. Oh well, <laughs> it'll be a straight line wonder. And yeah, like I said, if you're wondering, uh, we, whoa, we do have to use this car. Well, not have to, but we will be using this car in uh, a bunch of other events. Holy crap, dude. Vipers are so ridiculous.
<laughs> Goddamn torpedo. stock suspension. Crazy to drive a Viper, man. Good thing I definitely register in that department. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, how so loose there, whoa. without wings. That's what this is. This is not a car. <laughs> it's a fighter jet. A fighter jet without the ability of flight. <laughs> Oof, see that booty drop? Oh my god. Look at that booty, you guys.
turn, 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 my love, turn. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, tires are starting to lose it a little bit here. But a friggin' 700 horsepower. so much fun. Like, holy crap. The RX-7 killed it out there, followed closely by the Silvia. The Supra rose up into fourth place over the S2000 and the 300. Surprisingly enough, the S2000 beat that 300. That's kind of crazy. Oh, let's see. Let's see the Viper take off, you guys. Let's see the takeoff of the Viper. God, you see that ass drop? Fucking see ya later, bro. <laughs> Holy crap, you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Once again, people ask me why Vipers are my favorite car. Need I say more? I want that suspension, though. <laughs> That's for sure. to drive without that suspension. I can tell you that. Like, that was actually a really tough race. Well, not, ne not necessarily a tough race. It was a tough drive, is what it was. Without suspension. Jeez. Didn't really think about it. <laughs> 700 horsepower later. Suddenly you need it. it to the flow, baby. Tiny little bit of extra camber, tiny little bit of negativity toe, and stiffen it up. There we go. Oh, look at how low it's sitting now, you guys. Oh, I'm gonna get the stylish, the style start. You ready? And style on. Oh, so minty. Oh, look at that purple Supra. that Master RX-7 again. Same dude. Holy shit! <laughs> She's me! It's gonna take me a moment to get used to the suspension now. Turn. Oh yeah, I can feel those sway bars letting me sway, you guys. See the grip now? Holy shit. See that shift into fourth, you guys? It was like, bam. Kick, kick the hips of the car to the side. Easy. If you guys are wondering if if I was like a friggin' millionaire, 
uh, this would be my car. Like all these other douchebags go out and buy a McLaren and uh, stap, uh, s slap a fucking G Fuel sticker on the dashboard or something like that. They just go out and buy a Ferrari. That's a douchebag car. <laughs> This is a real car right here. And hell, for the price of a for the price of a Ferrari, you can buy like four Vipers. And all four of those Vipers will beat that Ferrari. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. I thought the uh, sausage curb was gonna send us. Fuck. Easy. That was Harry. Turn. Hmm. Just as I'm, I say turn, it's like, rah! <laughs> Grabs the road. Woo! Starting to get used to the suspension now, obviously. You can just let it roll around corners real nice, because the beautiful sway bar is in there. Oh, I locked my brakes there. A little bit too hard on the brakes. Whew. A Viper is a big, heavy car. Well, no, they're not really big. To be fair, a Viper is actually kind of small. Like, if you saw a Viper in real life, you'd be like, whoa, oh, they're remarkably small. It is uh, definitely a heavy car, though, that's for damn sure. Got a big, gigantic transmission in there. <laughs> An even bigger V10. Freaking kill you. <laughs> like, holy crap. Easy. If you drive them enough, though, you can feel, like, you can literally feel when the car is about to do something crazy on you. Surprisingly, uh, a surprisingly balanced weight, though. Like, the front of the car and the back of the car actually don't weigh, uh, like, they don't weigh, uh, a whole lot different than each other. Each half of the car is, like, the same weight. Which is kind of cool. Makes it handle really well. Well, if you know what you're doing. <laughs> this is definitely uh, one of those cars that it takes a little bit of practice to, like, get it down pat. And not, like, spin out on these slow corners like this. Because in first and second gear, man, vipers are nuts. You just tap the gas pedal and it's like... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so it's hard not to uh, spin out or do a huge burnout when you, uh, trump the gas pedal. Was that, is that still the RX-7? I look, I saw that at the very last second. Was that still the RX-7, or did something happen to him? I'll have to wait for him to pop up again. I'm not looking back. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, that's still the RX-7, okay. Just looked a little different for a second. Mind you, I only 
caught it for like a millisecond. Yeah, you really have to take it easy in uh, first and second gear in a Viper. Not second so much, depending on the situation. But first, you definitely have to be careful in this car. Because realistically, you just touch the gas pedal and it's like <laughs> instant burnout. Whoa, 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 stop it. Whoa, whoa. Holy crap. RX-7, wow, the S2000, holy crap, you guys, the S2000 beat a frickin' Supra. And a Sylvia, and a 300, what the? That S2000 is out of control. <laughs> you hear my dog grumbling in the background? <laughs> Tokyo, you guys, Tokyo. This car is going to fly on Tokyo. One of the longest straightaways in the game. Uh, no, no, fuck off. Uh, what was I going to do? Can't remember. I think that was it. I just lifted it up by another millimeter. Yeah, look at that booty drop. Whoa. Maybe the RX-7 and the Sylvia are having themselves a little bit of a drag race. I lifted it up another millimeter to give us just a little bit more clearance. Whoa, turn. Ah, uh, freaking cold tires, god damn. <laughs> Definitely gotta wait to warm the tires up in this car, that's for sure. She doesn't like cold tires. to fly? Let us take flight. Woo! Holy crap! 190, you guys. We hit 190 and almost did not have enough room to slow down. <laughs> Holy. Whoa, it's easy. It's a difficult turn to make in this car, man.
and I collected the shit out of them because I had fucking Enzo, Selena, Seven, I had all kinds of cars together, huh? Tons of them. I'm talking about like the really big ones. They're like a foot long. About a foot long, they weigh about three or four pounds. You can open the doors, turn the steering wheel, and it turns the wheels and stuff. You can open up the back uh, trunk and all that stuff. And, and kind of miss having that collection of them, to be honest with you. But, oh well. I hope my uh, I hope my son has enough fun with them. You know what I mean? What the hell is that? Okay, it's a Shigeno. I'm happy with that. That that car is not as slow as you might think it is. That's an SS Shikano. Yeah, baby. Yeah, SS Shikano, you guys. And it's worth $125,000, and I will have zero purpose of this car in this game. 125 grand we just made right there, you guys. Take a look at that. Oh, there she is. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for coming up and watching this episode of Gran Turismo 3. You guys do me a favor, leave a like on the video, maybe even subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I freaking love you. And I wish you the total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. And of course, I'll see you guys in the very next episode. So be sure to have a good one. Bye. Bye.